without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to one of our on-air personalities, Sharon Carpenter. If you want to get to know me, just turn on your radio. I don't want to talk, I speak through this area. And of course, it's all about the big game here in New York City. Give it up for yeah. the we are wild like young volcanoes. What does that mean exactly? How wild do you guys get? Don't you want to know like who I'm I do actually, that was my next question. Towards the end of this past season, you were a little banged up, a little mm -hmm. injured. How are you recovering now? Can you still salsa a little bit? <laughs> okay. So you want to show me a few steps? Because I completely suck. Like okay. I've never done this before. I'm from England. We don't salsa in England. <laughs> so you got to teach me, okay? Okay, so All we're right. going to go right foot back. Okay. Left foot back. We've got exclusive footage of rapper Trina's performance in Baltimore, but there's one issue getting far more buzz than her music right now, and it's the big question. Is Trina pregnant? A busy man. Well, later in the day, fans finally got what they've been waiting for, the free mixtape comprised of a whopping 28 tracks. And it looks like the feds are watching. 2 Chainz is having to face the music 10 whole months after his arrest at LAX over possession of codeine, one of the main ingredients in Scissor. Say hello to journalist and co-creator of The Gossip Game on VH1. Give it up for Sharon Carpenter. You can actually get a positive message from this, the yeah. fact that you can be a teen mom and still go to school. I have to commend the NBA for moving so quickly on this, first of all. This man is a blatant racist. He is a hypocrite. Spike Lee, I think, said this best, that he has the mentality of a slave master. Is this fashion or is this freaky? This is fashion if you're with two models. This is not fashion when you're with your two sons. Yeah. I mean, it's freaky, it's incestuous. I kind of have to disagree. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think everyone knows at this point that Michael Jackson... No, no, they not don't. Not no, no, they should. They should. They should know that Michael Jackson is dead. I think the technology was amazing. I think it really captured the essence of Michael Jackson as a performer and as a singer. <laughs> really solidify his legacy. So our first hot topic, first date. Now you have a major crush on a guy. He hasn't asked you out yet. Do you do the traditional thing and wait for him to ask you out, hope and pray that he does? Or do you do the new school thing and go after what you want? The YouTube Music Awards is far from your average awards show. This innovative online experience is a true celebration of music in the digital era. Revolt, of course, was live on the scene. Now, Tyler, you had a few words about the award show on Twitter. Two f***ing idiots decided to do the same Gaga, what is this in your mouth? You are performing tonight. How excited. He loves you. He was just telling us he loves you. You're performing. See, he's, he's starstruck. You are performing tonight at the YouTube Awards, the first ever YouTube Music Awards. So guys, we're here at the Madden Bowl right now. It's one of the hottest parties during this big game week. Trust me, I'm so not used to seeing these guys like this. This has got to be the best just any of them have ever been scoring a touchdown. And talking of beautiful, you made it on GQ's hottest women of the 21st century list. You didn't know? No, are that's you awesome. It's the one with Beyonce on the cover. No, I didn't know that. Yes. That's great. Okay, well, here I am to break the news. There was some controversy surrounding the album as well. So was it a tough time for you as well as kind of a celebration of this this amazing music that you put out there? I didn't really get a chance to, you know, celebrate the music because I was fighting a murder case and I was going back and forth to court. I was trying to, you know, maintain and, and rap. I want to get your take on something that Snoop Dogg recently said. He said that he doesn't think hip hop is ready for a gay rapper. And that's something that's been debatable after Frank Ocean came out. He said he doesn't think hip hop will ever be ready because hip hop is so, you know, masculine. Heck yeah, I think hip hop's ready for a gay lesbian. You think the fans are ready? I, I'm ready. I want to ask you about the essay Brad Paisley wrote, the essay about you. He said that you're not really into small talk and it's difficult for you to hide your feelings, right? That's true? That is very true. <laughs> and what does a possible presidential contender listen to before a Big speech. Do you listen to music to, to get you in the mood, to get you ready to go out there? You remember Chumba Wumba, Chumba Wamba, Tub Thumping, 1997. That uh, you know that'll really get you up and up and motivated. That's what gets you ready for a yeah, speech. And it's about revolt. It's about you know passion and revolution.